you're probably not giving metoprolol for blood pressure. A common mistake that new grads make is that they think when a patient is hypotensive, you're automatically going to hold all beta blockers. You do learn about beta one versus beta two in school, and you might've learned one heart, two lungs for beta one and beta two, but it's a little bit more than that. And when we look deeper into what's happening with a beta one agonist or a beta one antagonist, you start to see why. This is one of the mini lectures in the Concord Critical Care Membership where we're talking about how beta-1 agonists results in the influx of calcium, increased calcium cycling, and then increased inotropy and chronotropy. For a cardioselective beta blocker like metoprolol, which is working primarily on being an antagonist in the heart, you're usually giving it to decrease the rate. So you're giving it to decrease the heart rate. There are multiple instances where a patient is hypotensive because they can't tolerate a higher heart rate or because of cardiac disease that makes them require a slower heart rate. In hypertrophic cardiomyopathy patients, for example, they need a slower heart rate so the ventricles have time to fill and to squeeze. It's so important to understand why you're giving medications, and we go over this a lot in the Conquer Critical Care course, which is for new ICU nurses and experienced nurses.